Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nifon Tui and on this channel I make sewing tutorials. I post new videos every Wednesdays and Saturdays. So if you're into stuff like this, make sure to check back on those days to watch new content. In this video, I will show you how to make the organza sleeve that you have seen in the thumbnail and in the scene before um, this one. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe because recently I just hit 60,000 subscribers and I want to thank every one of you that has subscribed already. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much for, um, bringing, for helping me get this far in such a short time all right so uh, if you are interested if you are a beginner or a person that's um that, that wants to brush up on your skill i offer online courses if you are interested in the whatsapp message the number that i can see on the screen i'll be showing a demo how to make a jumpsuit for you to watch and so um, so you can watch and see if it be convenient for you to learn online okay so do have a lovely day make sure to uh love yourself thank you so much bye bye All right, you're welcome to this video. Now, um, to be able to understand the level I am at now, you're going to need to see the video, how to draft an off-shoulder bustier and how to pad an off-shoulder bustier. So that's a two-part video. And if you see that, you'll clearly understand the step I am at now. Okay, I didn't want to film that all over again and um, spend time on something I have already thought in detail before. I will drop um, a link to those videos at the end of this video so be sure to go and um, to click that link and check it out and if you want to find the video just search for how to draft an off shoulder bustier on my channel so Nifon Tsui how to draft an off shoulder bustier and you will see the videos that will give you an idea on what you are looking at here okay but there are some slight differences between what I have here and that now the only difference is that I intend to make this as a top so the distance from my um, underboss length to the end here is three inches um, plus half inch for hemming allowance uh, because this is going to be a top so if this was going to be a dress like the one that you saw there i would have stopped at two inches at this point and then a half half inch for sewing allowance but in this case it's three inches and half inch for sewing allowance because this is a crop top so i didn't want it to stop two inches after the under bust length i brought it down by one inch extra and then added allowance for joining my lining to it at the bottom okay but every other thing you can see the construction is very, very similar to how to pad a um, bustier so the main focus of this video is supposed to be on, is going to be on the sleeve but you need to know how um, we are going to draft the off shoulder to understand okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply run take this to my to my sewing machine i'm going to join the top parts here okay half an inch join here half an inch join the bottom together half an inch and lock the zipper allowance and then i'll turn everything inside out so then i'm going to join the two parts together like i said to understand what is here clearly make sure to see my video on how to draft an off shoulder bust here all right so let's proceed okay so here you can see i have joined the fabric and the lining together you can see how smooth everything is the bustier area and then uh, make sure you see the video that, that i've um, recommended to you so that you see how to achieve a look like this all right so now to the next step how we will go about the sleeve all right so now i fixed the first sleeve here and i know that you are wondering why i'm running so fast today but i'm not because i'm going to explain all of this down break all of uh, i'll break down whatever i have done here so that you will see now there are um different parts that you should look at when you see a sleeve like this okay that you can see here now if i zoom in at the top of the sleeve okay over here you see that there's an elastic part right here okay so there's an elastic inside here in the off shoulder okay now the next thing you're going to check is also here too there is a bias at this point here running through and then i did gathers i simply just gathered the gathers but as you can see the bias is smooth okay the bias is not pleated or gathered the bias is running through this bias here was cut using the person's bicep measurements by um plus one inch okay so my bicep that i'm working in that's the first thing we're going to cut the bicep that i'm working with is 10.5 so i'm going to measure out my bias to at um, 11.5 so at 11.5 i'm going to cut this i'm going to show you guys how we're going to work with it when we get to the sewing machine so now this is the first piece of the puzzle that we're working with so that aside now the next thing is to cut the elastic okay so like uh, like you can see there's an elastic running in the shoulder here okay so how did i cut this we need to measure the bodies okay so we need to measure the bodies out in order to know how many um, inches we have, uh, that we, I cut the elastic by. So as you can see, this elastic here is part of the top part here, okay? So it's an off-shoulder top. 
that I'm making is the same thing I would do if it was a dress. So how did I cut this part? You need to measure. Now before I even fix this um, um, off shoulder here, there's something that I did. Okay, I measured. I measured from the beginning. Okay, so you see for my zipper allowance here, over here, I measured from here. Okay, from the end there I measured, and when I got close to the end, so half inch before the end over here. Okay, so half inch before this part, I stopped. All right, so from the edge to here is 6.5. So I'll lift up that 6.5 and I'll come to the bustier here. Okay, so I'll come half inch after the edge and I'll place that 6.5 and I'm going to measure through. Okay, now, now regardless of the sleeve that I have fixed, you can still see the fabric over here. Okay, so now when I measured from there. Half inch before the end is 18.5, okay? So 18.5, I'm going to come to half inch after the edge here, and that's where I'll start that 18.5 from. So from the 18.5, I'll now measure this all the way down, okay? So from there all the way down, we have 26, 25.5. So now the next thing we'll do is we need to subtract her off shoulder measurement, subtract this 25.5 from her off shoulder measurements, okay? So we've measured here, We've measured here measured here so we're looking for a number that well that when we used to work it will complete the space between here and the space between here okay so we're going to do 41 minus 25.5 so 41 minus 25.5 is 15.5 okay so 15.5 now that means we need 15.5 to complete the off shoulder so what we'll do is we'll divide the 15.5 in half we'll place one part here one part of the 15.5 here and we'll place the other part here so 15.5 divided by um, divided in half is 7.75 okay so 15.5 divided into two places one for here one for here is going to give us 7.5 but so um, but when i'm cutting my elastic i'm going to simply approximate that number um to eight inches okay so i'm going to cut this one here at eight inches okay so now what i'm doing is i'm working with um a bicep that is 10 and my organza here is 60 inches long okay so that means i have 40 inches of excess but if you're working with a person that has a big bicep you might want to increase that to base but even if the person has a bicep of 15 the 60 inches will still be enough so organza usually comes in the in a length that is by 60 so from the beginning all the way down so you see this part here that is rumpled this is where they count the yards okay so this is the length that the fabric would always be in they don't count the yard this other way that's the length of the fabric so what i would do now is i'm going to need to cut my organza for my sleeve okay so we've cut the elastic we've cut the elastic and we've cut the bias that's going to help us when we are sewing the next thing is to cut the um the, the organza we've cut the bias and we've cut the elastic so to cut the uh, the organza we need to know how long the organza so we know that this length is by 60 but what is our sleeve length now the sleeve length that i want at the end of the day is 10 inches but there are other um, allowances that i have added now at the top part here because of the elastic you can see running through here i added um two inches to 10 inches so the first part is 10 inches plus two inches which equals to 12 inches now for the bottom part here for this design here i kept an extra four inches so that i can please it and then have the excess sitting after the bias okay so that's 12 inches plus extra four inches that equals to 16 inches a lot of numbers but pay attention it's not so difficult okay so now organza rips easily so i'm going to come from here the top part here i'm going to come to 16 i'm going to make a notch at 16 and then i'm going to simply rip this apart so that is that now the next step is for me to iron it so we can cut it okay so what i have here is my organza and you can see that i've simply put my organza um on a fold okay so i folded the 60 inches of length into half okay you can see that so now the next thing i'm going to do is we need to cut the armhole for the armhole to match with the armhole on the bodies that we have here so it's easy simply collapse your armhole into two equal halves like this okay and then place it and bring it down by two inches so we're going to bring it down by two inches and coming so organza is dancing okay so now we're going to place it two inches away from the top 
now we have only two inches at the top here and then on the side here we need half inch for our sewing allowance and when we are done with that i need you to cut the armhole here use the armhole on the body as a template for trimming of this part here so that way we are sure that the armhole is going to fit just right by the time we are done sewing all of this so let's head to the sewing machine so that we can start piecing all of these things together okay so now we are on the sewing machine next first thing we have to do is we have to hem it so you can see this part here this is the armhole this is the top this is the bottom so at the bottom here i wanted to hem the down part at only um, consuming only half inch twice okay so that's one inch fold half inch the first time okay and then fold it again and then simply run this from the beginning all the way down So now after you hem the bottom the next step is to hem the top here okay so now to hem the top half an inch at the top okay and then I need you to fold down one inch okay and then I'm going to run from here all the way across to the other side try to sew as close to the bottom edge as possible When you are done with that, the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to pass, use a safety pin. Okay, so make sure you use a safety pin to pass your elastic through this um, top part. So the stitch you just made, I need you to pass on your uh, one inch elastic. Yeah, please make sure to use one inch elastic. So I'm going to pass this through here from the beginning all the way down. Okay. Okay, so when you've passed it through and you've moved the elastic, you can see the elastic is now inside the um, the tunnel, <laughs> okay? So what I want you to do is quickly stitch the end. Once the end is on the same level with the elastic, I need you to stitch it at this point. That way, you can continue dragging your elastic without this one following you in. So you see that? Just a quick back stitch. Alright, so just a quick back stitch and then we can now pass this one through from here all the way out to the other side. Take off, remove your safety pin, and then back stitch this part here. So I'm going to turn to the side I intend to keep on the outside and I'm going to get my elastic, my bias, sorry. And I'm going to keep my bias three inches high, okay? So you see that the space from the, the distance from the edge to where my bias is being placed is three inches, okay? And I'm going to put this into the sewing machine, okay? Now, when I start stitching, I'm going to simply lock half an inch. After locking half an inch, I'm going to start to gather my excess inside here like so so i don't know if the camera i hope the camera is picking this up clearly i'm simply pushing my organza into the bias okay to go under the bias so we all know that the organza is longer than the bias base. so we're trying to make that 50 inches of excess enter into the um 11.5 inch space okay so you can see that all right so i'm going to keep doing that all the way down So you can see I have stitched the bottom of the allowance and I've made the gathers underneath it. So that's how you do. So now simply just stitch the top part here. Okay, so you can see the top part of the organza is still hanging loose. So I'm going to simply stitch on top at the top part of the bias right now. Okay, so you can see what we have here. We have stitched two lines from up all the way down. So that's how that, that that's how that is done. So you see this. I'm going to now close the two sides together like so, and I'm going to run from here all the way down, uh, consuming only half an inch. Okay. So because only half inch. Remember, we brought the bodies half the um, yeah the bodies half inch in when we're using the armhole of the body to um, replicate to trace this um, the armhole of the sleeve out. So now we have done that. 
while getting very close to the end you can now turn everything inside out the next thing is to attach the sleeve so you see this part here all the rough work is facing inside look at where the joining is we are going to turn it to the front like so and then we're going to attach it to the body so you see the front of the of the sleeve here we're making it face the front of the body so now we're going to join the armholes together so from up here i'm going to join this armhole to the body the sleeve to the armhole of the body half an inch from here all the way around and because of how i joined the sleeve together from here to lead us to the other part um, over here the sleeve will just flow the only thing is to use your overlocker or your weaving machine to finish the rough edge or you use your bias to cover it up if you want to do um, that that will give you the neatest um, finish but please make sure to check out all the videos that i have told you guys to check out in order to fully um, understand what i did here from start to finish uh, but yeah do have a lovely day enjoy the rest of your week i'm going to see you guys in the next video so this is a nice fun sleeve for you to add to your projects anyway bye bye